Ndi bayi, ndi wo, I want me to listen to how Prime Minister talks say, today will be the deep day of this Zoological Republic election. We will happen to the old Imo state. I want me to listen to waiting Prime Minister talks say go happen. After we did the meeting yesterday. I welcome all of you. The spirit of Biafra. I welcome you this evening as you again to listen to the voice of freedom. The voice that pierces the heart of Nigeria. The voice that pierces the heart of the terrorists who has come to kill our people for the end of dying. I welcome all of you this evening. I welcome you. The Nigeria terrorist DSS agent. I welcome you, the Nigeria terrorist army agent. I welcome you, the politician agent. Those killers of our people, as you work as their agent and you have come to listen to what Samaria has to say this evening, you will continue to have sleepless nights to deal with you and your men. Welcome to this very, very painful broadcast to you today because I know this particular space today is going to be a very painful one to all of you. As you have fallen in hundreds, I told you people as you are coming to Biafra land, come with body bags. We don't want you to litter the street. You have killed us enough, now it is a return match. And we are not going to look back dealing with you. Today, I want to again thank Biafra people in the old Imo state, it is now old Imo state because Biafra have new state. Biafra have created three new states from old Imo state. And the state are Oweri state, Olu state, and Okibo state. We want to thank Biafrans in those three states who have demonstrated their readiness to leave and to exit Nigeria at all costs. And tomorrow is the due date. Tomorrow is the due date. We have used these two days to prepare the ground for what is going, what, what is going to happen tomorrow. A lot of people do not know why we only always put two days sit at home ahead before whatever we want to do. So that we are going to have enough time to make amendment when there is need for that. The Biafra liberation is not the time of the political pressure group. We are they would deceive our leader, Mazin Amdika, and then at the dying minute, they would deceive him to come and make a pronouncement that, okay, we are taking it back, go out and vote. We will never, ever take our word back. We will never, ever validate Nigeria. It is a fight to finish. And believe me, I do not need to tell you what is happening. They are feeling the heat. They understand that there is a new sheriff in town. I believe by now, if they are not regretting the kidnapping of Mazin Abdikano, I don't need to tell you whether they are regretting or not. You can see that yourself. The worst mistake they have done is to kidnap him. When he was kidnapped from Kenya and revision to Nigeria, our promise was to make sure that the kidnapping of Mazin Abdikano become very, very useless. And I know I don't need to ask you whether we have achieved that or not. We have achieved more than that. The kidnapping was to stop the Afro agitation. Today we are no longer agitating, we are liberating the Afro. We have graduated from agitation, it is now liberation. And I believe that they never saw this coming. My people of the Afro, I am very, very happy. I am very, 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 very happy and very proud of all of you. For how far we have come, what we have done together, and what is to come. Today, Imo State was a ghost town. Old Imo State was a ghost town. Tomorrow, we don't want to see goat. We don't want to see chicken. Any chicken you see in the street, use it to do the soup. It is a free chicken day. Any time, any chicken you see on the street become the chicken of Biafra. Use it to do pepper soup. No thing is allowed to move. It's going to be a historic day. Remember that at the end of the day, they are still going to announce that somebody 
which is Hokus or Demaru have written result since last year. But our point we are trying to prove to the world is that we will never validate Nigeria again and they will go ahead without election to announce somebody. I remember we are already fighting. What we need to do and what we are going to do is to step up our fight against the against the Imo state killer called Hopoza Denma. It is all to step up the game, which we are stepping up on daily basis. I promise Biafra people that those who have come to Biafra land to kill will never go back. You will only see when they come, but you can't see when they go back. They will never go back. Mark my word. Today, we have intel that almost 100 armored car, armor tank were seen somewhere moving to Imo State. They will never come back. You will never see when they leave because they will never leave. They will die there. As I have come to kill our people, they will die there. So again, this particular space this evening is to give opportunity to their friends and those one Nigerian Janjawi can take agent and supporters to ask questions. And those who need clarification on certain issues, the opportunity is now. I am here, live and direct, to take your questions and give you a very good answer on behalf of the Biafra people. I thank you all. I welcome you, the uh, media team. I can see the deputy minister, uh, Van Van Van, I can see uh, Google 247 here. And uh, all of you can take uh, in charge and uh, distribute your, share your responsibility of how to coordinate this space for the next one hour. But of course, success is here as well as a co-host. I will leave it to you people now to continue from here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, PM. Thank you, my PM. You're welcome, sir. And uh, thank you for what you are doing for Biafra, what you are doing for our motherland, what you are doing for our homeland, the land of the rising sun, to go to and I will continue to give you strength. I remember the day you prayed for 1,000 men wisdom. It is evident now that the heavens were opened on that day and we can see the fruits of it. And uh, I am happy that the whole world can witness what is happening. And uh, just like we always say, okay, have Nanya, that most of us will sleep in Nigeria and we're going to wake up in Biafra. And it is going to happen not many days hence because everything is leading us to that road. And I welcome my co host, Mars Sustess. Are you there, please? Mars, you go, you're welcome also. Mars Sustess, please, uh, are you able to talk? I see that the network was. Yes, yes, I'm here, I'm here. At least, as I see that you're a good evening, my PM, and good evening, fellow dear friends, and all who is listening, wherever you are from around the world. Uh, yes, we are making history and uh, it remains so. Uh, uh, tomorrow is the big day as this uh, space notified. And uh, I want to, I must congratulate my PM for his uh, doggedness and for his, I uh, mean, uh, uh, stubbornness. I must use our very stubbornness. Uh, indeed. He is doing a nice job and the fellow dear friends who are backing him up. Uh, we must continue until victory is won. Uh, I will uh, Now, welcome back. Oh. As now here, many of them will come, all of them, the body bags they go use go back. And now the prayer of us be that. Because the Biafra territory and Biafra land belongs to us. In say, 